Liberation Day, this is how we wanna survive. We gonna unite. Give it up, indigenize the world. My colonized name is Justin Rowland. I come from uh, a long line of resistors. And we've always been in Wounded Knee from the beginning to the end. And we're still here. And like they always say, we're still here, really. It's stood up in 1973 and I'm really honored like I said I always tell people I'm a direct result it's where my parents met my mother and my father and I'm really proud and honored of that oh, my name is Oloa Martinez um, I'm, I come from the Oglala territory Pahisinte who's born and raised here my whole life the KXL pipeline uh, we're preparing we're training we're not uh, talking or listening. We're actually getting on the ground and doing what we have to to ensure that, you know, we have protection and um, our, our water will be safe. They say that all the water of uh, the lands are poisoned already in one way or another, but I don't believe that. You know, our prayer is really strong and our way of life is really strong. And um, I know this is a battle to be won. Is the liquid of life hole as vital as the air you breathe? Greetings, friends, relatives, allies. Shout out to everybody turning themselves up to the White House front line. Everybody on the front lines today trying to stop tar sands. Everybody trying to stop these pipelines. There's people over pipelines all day, every day. Don't let that be forgotten. So power to the people. Our Yo, we have to stand up for I said power to the people, keep the people united. We already have contamination in the water here already um, since they were trying to um, mine, mine here years ago in the 70s, um, the 80s, the 90s. So we've been fighting off um, extraction for a very long time. But now it's really full force with this KXL pipeline and it is um, going to come right down through our territory, our aquifer. Right now we are getting our own water imported from um, the east and that's how bad our water is right now. 
and with the aqua with this pipeline coming in and they're gonna go across the aqua for we'll have no chance at all for survival we're here we're gonna um, make her stand we're gonna fight until the end our people are suffering from so many many genocidal genocidal events going on alcoholism suicide um rapes um everything out there in the world that is out there is coming onto our lands and taking our children now they want to take our water now they want to um take our children's future for money Long and the peace is resistance, indigenous resistance, always forever till we're finished. This is why the children are gifted, sir. We slowly watch the bloom, away our cool, but then the white bloom, singing songs of resistance. We watch it all come true, like away our cool, with that the white bloom, shining hard till it's finished, like the soul inside of you, sir. Away our cool, with that the white bloom. I'm Deborah White Plume, Oglala Lakota, from the homelands of Pine Ridge. Oweaku in Lakota means bring back the way. And my husband and I and our extended families formed Oweaku maybe 20 years ago. We needed a vehicle to do our social change work and our resistance work that the outside world would understand. Here on Pine Ridge and the other Lakota bands, we pipe our water in our drinking water, and that KXL will cross it many times, as well as crossing our rivers and lakes and streams and our aquifer. If the paper war isn't successful, then we need warriors. We need warriors who are ready and trained and willing to stand up to fight for whatever was said in those papers. Resistance by the Lakota Nation against the tar sands coming through our lands and waters is going to be a physical resistance. We will have our bodies out there and we will stop that pipeline from being constructed if it's approved by President Obama. There are real people here, there are natural people here. We still have that wild and true original DNA of our ancestors. And when you have that, you're fearless. I'm a Tokala workkeeper, Kit Fox Warrior Lady. I was chosen, a very young girl then, to be the workkeeper. And as a Tokala, you know what? We live a life of uncertainty. We gave up everything in our life. And we're going to be frontliners when the XL pipeline comes. You know, I let loud help with that first too. With all my Tokalas. I very honor my Tokalas. I love my Tokalas, because one day we'll all be together, and maybe the next day we won't. That's the life of a Tokala, Kit Fox Warrior people. We gave up everything. We give up our life. We give up our life for our people. We give up our life for Mother Earth. Because Mother Earth is our home. But no, 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 no other place. And without water, and without land, we the people and the animals will cease to exist. We just need to love life. We need to love life enough to let the world know that we can't we can't allow them to destroy Mother Earth. The world is making a stand and it's not just us. Everyone all over the world is standing up. It's time to make a stand. It's time to come together wherever you are. Whoever you are, whatever color you are, stand up now. Our children need us.
Our children need us. Their children need us. Yeah. Yeah. We are all one people and we have to reunite our seven together of our warriors cause tonight it's a big fight. Hey, 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 hey. Huh. Huh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh,